she's on oxygen right now. Um, not really sure what went wrong, man. Alright, what's good, Top Notch Gang? We got one, two, three, four, five puppies. He gotta eat last. What we got? We got five puppies. Let y'all see how they looking. It's a YouTube video. Okay. But we got one puppy. Y'all know which is my female keeper. And she's on oxygen right now. Um, Not really sure what went wrong, man. But um, I just pray she pulled through. Hope she make it. You feel me? I just gave her some, uh, some liver water. Uh, Got her on this oxygen machine right here. <sighs> but uh, she was gasping for air earlier today. Well, she was doing it yesterday, but she was doing it on and off. I didn't think nothing of it until today. We was just like, she's gasping for air too many times. Um, and she was turning purple. Uh, but... Uh, I hope she pulled through. She ain't looking too good right now, but hopefully this oxygen can save her. I don't know what caused it. Uh, I don't know why she needed oxygen. I just know one day she was in the incubator, and I seen her gasping for air, and I took her out the incubator. But everybody else is doing. Everybody else is doing fine. But y'all know she's the smallest one out the litter. Like, she's really, really tiny. Like, she can fit in my hand. She's really tiny. So, I don't, but, man, I hope she pulled through. Uh, got the little heating pad right here and this right here. Keep the pressure off her lungs. But yeah, man, it's crazy. My first litter, I'm really upset about this. I hope she pulled through, because y'all know this is my keeper female. Uh, damn. But uh, she trying, man, she trying. Hopefully, we didn't catch it too late. Uh, also, man, she is uh, very, very constipated. So I know they're using the bathroom like that. And she struggles to use the bathroom. Like she strains really, really hard. Um, I don't know if that came from her needing oxygen or what. But uh, today we got on the oxygen because it just got really bad for her today. Um, but yeah, man, if I lose it, this will be my first loss, man. I wasn't, I was hoping I didn't have to need none of this. I was hoping I didn't have to take no L's or, you know, but it's a part of the game, like they say, and I just got to chuck my chin up and keep it pushing, you know, but I would like for her to, like for her to pull through. I had her in this little ox, I mean, this incubator right here, I know I got two incubators, but I had her in this incubator. But I feel like she wasn't getting enough oxygen directly in the incubator, so I got her face in the cup. Also, man, for the constipation, I tried animals. Animals didn't, the animal with the warm water did not work. She didn't poop on that. I tried uh, mineral oil doing an animal that did not work. Um, I tried. Uh, some probiotics and shit like that, that didn't work. I don't know if it's something like internal with her or, you know, but I'm gonna go get it checked out once she get back, when she start back, so back straight. And hopefully Monday we can get into a vet. Uh, but, um, 
And I don't know if it's gonna, it's probably just gonna take her some time to, to use the bathroom. But she hasn't really been using it. So, this is the ins and outs of being a bully breeder. I've experienced this firsthand already. And I'm very mad that it had to be my keeper. Well, well, YouTube, we just lost the keeper female. We just lost the keeper female. We tried. We tried to save her. Shit, I stayed up two nights trying to save her. And it just it just didn't happen, man. Um, I'm, mad at, I'm mad as hell about this one because she was going to take me to the next level, man. She was going to take the camp to the next level. Man, I'm telling you, like, if y'all seen this female head, man. Uh, this is my first litter, you know, so I'm learning, you know. I know what not to do next time. This is just a lesson, you know. Got to make sure I take care of the rest of the litter, man. Um, I still got a sister here. I still got her brother here that was short, compact, boned up just like her, but I just wanted a female, you know what I'm saying, like that. But, um, yeah, man. Losing a dog from a litter, especially your keeper, I mean, that shit really fucks with you on a whole different level. Like, this shit fucking with me on a whole different level. Like, so like, so like. But, um, I don't know, man. I guess I gotta get back in the lab, bro. I'm really hurting behind this one. Because I had big plans for her. Big, big plans for her. She was nice, man. Nice head, nice dome piece everything um but um so this is my other female keeper so i'm not really tripping well i was tripping because i liked that bitch but she's just not as small as her sister was like her sister can fit in my hand um she do got a full tail uh no she's not blue this is a silver color like i told y'all in my last video silver color i'm trying to figure out what color this is i might do like a dna color test uh Cause then my homie came to the crib and he was like, yo, what color is that? I ain't, I'm trying to figure it out too. But um, keep her female, she's not going nowhere. So I still got her. He not. And this is my keeper male right here. He do got a kink. He's way smaller. Him and his sister was the smallest out of the litter. Him and her. And they both had kinks. Yeah. Yeah, they both had kinks. Um, so he's going to be my future stud, man. He's boned up as well. Look at him. Boy, gone. He look just like his daddy. He look better than his daddy, actually. He's the same color as his sister. Like I said, I don't really know. I'm trying to figure out what kind of color this is. Honestly, because they're silver, if you can, if you can see. Um... And this right here, right here is my other keeper male. You know, y'all know I was keeping two females and two males. It's my other female, uh, keeper male, full tail chocolate try. He's here to stay. Look how beefy he is. That boy is beefy. Now look at him compared to his brothers and sisters. Small. Small. This male right here. But you said Kim, what the fuck happened? <laughs> this male right here, I call him white socks because of white unsocks. He is available. He is thick as hell. He's a chocolate with a full tail. Beefed up. Beefed up. Um, I feel like he's going to have a snout like his mama. If y'all like a dog that don't have a real smashed up snout, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should go with him. He not going to see so late snow. Not so smashed. And I got this male right here available. He do have a like a more type of smash muzzle, but not so smashed. He is a chocolate try. If don't nobody grab him, I'm just going to keep him. I'm going to be honest. 
Twin brother. Yeah, he look like um. He got a twin. He look like his brother down there. But his brother's just lighter. Yeah, he's just a lighter version. He's a dark, rich chocolate try. So he has a full tail as well. Don't sleep on these males, man. Don't sleep on the studs. You get you a nice foundation stud, man. They can make you some money. I know somebody that made five hundred k a year alone just off studs, stud fees. So yeah. That's the, that's my plan. I'm trying to. I might stop fucking breeding females. Only breed females like two, two, three times a year, and just stud the rest of the year, man. That's my goal with them two. It's just a stud. Like this weapon shit, bro, is not for the weak, bro. Not for the weak. But um, yep, that's what's available. Fifteen hundred. If you want to uh, secure your spot for one of these meals, it is fifteen hundred. Um. You can hit me up on uh, Instagram or you can text the number. I'm going to leave the number on the screen. And uh, please only hit me if you deposit ready. 1500 like I said, till I come in. All right. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Turn your post notification bells on so you'll be notified every single time I post a video to the channel.